Hi guys, welcome to my next video. This video is gonna be all about my hair, how I got them this color. For the few last weeks, I've been dyeing them and just trying to get rid of those brown tones in my hair. I just wanted to go for something slightly greenish slash silver, dark blue, silver, whatever. And this is the color that I got. I still have a few things I need to do because I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with the roots. Either I'm gonna go darker or I'm gonna lighten them up. But anyways, this was a long process. There's a lot of clips and a lot of stages where my hair at one point is real shit. But now at the next point, I really love how they turned out. They are this really unique color and it's not the same that I had before, but I just missed something like this. Um, <laughs> I got tired of that fucking brown hair, sorry. I know that previously I said that I'm tired of bright hair, but well, I need bright hair in my life. And this is semi primary colors, so I can change them up if I want to. And if you want to see all of this process, all of it in this one huge video, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I got into my white shitty t-shirt already. I think I'm gonna do a voiceover anyways, but just to explain you real quickly what I'm gonna do. Brush my hair, section them in the middle, and then I'm gonna do these kind of one centimeter, half an inch sections. I'm going to go with bleach really, really close to, close to my roots, but not on the roots because I've my roots are grown out, they're gonna be super blonde if I do that. So basically I'm gonna break up only the dark parts here. And I'm not gonna put bleach all the way through, but just in tiny strands. Right, so here I'm just showing you how I section my hair. I hope you can see, sorry about the lighting in my bathroom, the cord of my umbrella light didn't go that far, so I just had to film with whatever I had. Uh, here I'm showing the products, the tools I'll need. All of that is of course going to be listed in the description box as well, as well as the proportions of what I've used. So as you see, I've been putting bleach only on the dark rootage area, uh, but not on the baby hair. This will break up the darkness in sections um, as I try to get away with as little damage as possible my hair has been through a lot so i just didn't want didn't want to over over process them so as little bleach as possible Hi guys, so a little update on my hair situation. I dyed them yesterday, but it was so late that I didn't want to film and it's early morning now. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use more bleach basically because it lifted up really well actually, but just these few sections still, they're kind of really dark and I need to kind of lighten this part up as well even more i used matrix um so silver shampoo which kind of brightens and neutralizes the yellow tones that i had yeah just gonna keep on doing that and then i'm gonna be back to update you on my hair situation okay so i have lifted up a little bit of that root again it seems a lot better now and now I mix this concoction which is a regular conditioner with this Bella color fresh silver toner and I'm just gonna apply this all the way through the root area just to get rid of that brassy tones
Okay, so this is the result of that toner. I think it really helped. It evened out a few bits and also helped with the brassiness and orangey tones in my hair. So what I'm gonna do now is I took some La Riche Directions, Directions hair dye and I diluted it with uh, conditioner again. And then as it goes towards the end, I'm gonna try to add this L'Oreal um, Pastel Soft Peach uh, Toning Conditioner kind of to transition it out. Also I'm gonna maybe mix it with a little bit of Dark Tulip from La Riche. Okay, so initially I was going for a gradient effect from blue to pinkish purple tones towards the ends but the hair definitely needs to be lighter for that and you will see towards the end that it washes out really fast and I just don't want to bother with that anymore so I decided to do only blue slash green silver hair without any other colors in it um, yeah, as you see in the picture here, I had the tones just slightly in my hair, nothing major. And then stage four was when I had waited one week for the color to wash out and needed to touch up roots and the ends with a stronger ratio of the semi permanent color, this time without no conditioner. As you can tell, they look pretty dull and colorless, so I needed to put more pigment back. And this is after I put a darker semi perm color, which is almost black, to even out the root area. After this point, I realized there is no way I'm gonna get the purple pink to stand out very well. The, so, next time, I went for only dark green blue color hair on the hair, colored hair. So, next time, I went for only the dark green and slash blue color in my hair uh, otherwise it looks just really muddy and it clashes with the tones so and this is stage six plus seven which i will describe next uh, so you can see the final result that i have now for the roots i especially used this uh, vela color fresh toner in silver and I just kind of rubbed it into my roots because that part I wanted more dark and since my own hair is kind of like grayish blonde dark dark gray blonde this is a really good alternative to a permanent color because I don't want any am ammonia on my hair right now so I just try to avoid bleach now and then on the ends I used I mix these two, which is Manic Panic, uh, Atomic Turquoise and Directions and I mix these two and I also used these and a little bit of this to kind of go ombre effect here so I tried to make this darker so I took a spoonful of this, spoonful of this and a little bit tiny squirt of this <laughs> two squirts of this um, and mixed it around with the same amount of conditioner maybe a little bit more this is like the perfect color that i wanted to get if you see it like that look the ends are really good only the roots have a little bit of problem but i'm gonna fix it it's not it's not unfixable so yeah Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something new and even if you didn't let me know any tips that you have maybe um, And leave a comment down below. What's your favorite uh, hair color? I really like to interact with you guys. So please talk to me. Please leave me comments say whatever you want I don't judge. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will speak to you all in the next one. Bye